Hello everyone and welcome back to Smart Gadgets. Today we're going to show you how to connect your new Amazfit BIP3 and BIP3 Pro with Zeep app on an Android phone, also in the next video we will show how to connect with an iOS device. Before we start, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So, let's begin here immediately, we have here the new Amazfit BIP3 Pro first and let's see how to connect it. To download the Zeep app, you can find it on Play Store by name, or you can find it by your QR code on your watch, you can scan the QR code and it will give you the link to download it. Hit install and wait until it's done. When it's done, hit open and we should have the app ready to continue. As we open it up it will ask for an account where we usually go with Google. After that it will ask for permission to use location, contacts, phone calls, call logs, and we have to allow do not disturb, for the Zeep app in the settings. After you have done all the installing you have to scan the QR code in the watch with Zeep app scanner to connect it. You can find this in the third page, click the new device and select what device you have, this time we have to go with watch and scan it. After you select the device it will ask you for location. Wait a little bit and after the watch it's found it will ask for a pairing request which you have to accept in the watch and phone too. This time we have an update. Let's run it and see what we have inside the app. That was it, it's so easy to connect it. Same process goes for the BIP3 as well. Here at the top we have the percentage of battery and underneath that is the first option health monitoring where we can find auto heart rate monitor active heart rate monitoring, sleep and stress. Here on this page we can turn them on and off and customize a few things. Next is notification for incoming calls, app alerts where you can choose the apps that you want to get notifications from, standing reminder, incoming SMS and goal notification, in this page you can customize these one by one so look carefully and see what options you want to turn on or off. After that we have watch faces where we can find a lot of them and it's very easy to change them. You can download a few and you can change them in a matter of seconds. To download one it may take a minute. You have a variety of them starting from classics, sport ones, more casual etc. Let's see how to work with them. Next we have sound and vibration where we can see buzzer scenes, buzzer intensity, vibrate for alert and vibration. Also we can customize the vibration for every app or call. In watch settings we will find language and wearing manners. App list management we can customize the order of the apps in the menu same as we saw before. Here you can put apps that you use more often at the top so you can access faster. Here you can see how it looks after the change of order. Here we have some apps like, weather, alarm, to-do list and word clock. Find watch, discoverable, activity heart rate share, real-time data, run in background, lab where we can connect the camera, this way we can control the camera from the watch. System update and about this device are the last options in this page. Back at the profile page where we are seeing my goal, my route, my records, friends, ad account, user feedback, smart analysis and settings. These were just in the watch page that we connected in the beginning, now we will see all the data from the first page that shows when you open the app. First stands the steps with charts and other datas for it, we can see statistics for day week month and year also we have data for distance, duration and burned calories that we did throughout this journey. After that is heart rate again with similar options the chart for lowest and highest heart rate and we can see for a day, week, month or a year worth of statistics. After that is blood oxygen again with the same options like we saw in other health options. Sleep again we have the hours of sleep for the last night, light sleep, deep sleep and the quality throughout the night. In workout history we'll find all the workouts that we did with all the data that is necessary like distance, route that we did for that walk or run, burned calories, steps, heart rate etc. The same options apply for the BIP3 in this case we will show you only one this time. So, this is pretty much it on the Amazfit BIP3 and BIP3 Pro, how to connect and what to expect inside. This was all for today's video, in the next one we will show you how to connect your watch with iOS.
I really hope you enjoyed and found this video interesting and helpful, if so, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next video with another smart device.